Apple CEO Steve Jobs says he has a hormonal problem, not pancreatic cancer. A slew of prominent doctors are openly skeptical. Howard Bragman is no medical doctor, but he is Hollywood's top spin doctor. Is Apple handling Steve Jobs' illness correctly? I don't think they've handled it as smartly as they've handled so many things throughout their history, and let me tell you why. Steve has been sick for a long time, or at least looks sick. And, you know, I always talk about PR no longer stands for public relations, it's perception and reality. And the perception that he is sick is, is screwing up their reality and it's messing up their stock, as we see. Every time there's a rumor, their stock fluctuates wildly. If you don't define something yourself, it's going to be defined for you. And that's not good for Apple or Jobs, says Bragman, who has represented the likes of Paula Abdul and Monica Lewinsky. In his new book, Where's My 15 Minutes, Bragman says celebrities and celebrity CEOs can no longer escape a public armed with YouTube, video recorders, and yes, iPhones. Do investors or shareholders have a right to know about Steve Jobs' health? They do if he's that important to the company, absolutely. And perceptually, he's that important to the company. So the other issue is, look at him. <laughs> you don't have to be a medical doctor to look at him and say, something's going on with this man. And I think when you have the head of a publicly traded company, there is a level of responsibility there because it's material. Should Steve Jobs step aside? You know, that's totally a personal decision based on his health. I think he owns enough stock that he probably doesn't have to step aside. But what he should do is lo let other people step to the top with him. There has to be other faces. There has to be other people that start sharing the spotlight with him. Because even if he was 100% healthy, there's no saying the guy couldn't get hit by a bus tomorrow. It can happen to any of us, and every business needs a succession plan. Aside from delineating a clear succession plan, Bragman suggests Apple steal a page from Hollywood's playbook. In Hollywood, in the entertainment business, when, when somebody has a problem, and we saw it recently with Patrick Swayze talking to Barbara Walters, we do our big cathartic interview. We get it off our chest, and then we're able to go on a little better, and I think something like that needs to be done. Greg Greenberg, TheStreet.com TV.